Welcome, Dr. Tine Tomazic, CEO and Director of Research and Development, Pipistrelle Vertical Solutions. That's a big photo. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, for a moment that's very important to the history of Pipistrel. We are this year celebrating the 30th anniversary, and part of the celebrations is also unveiling of what we call our Model 801. It's our five-seat eVTOL air taxi vehicle. But before we come in, let's talk about what we mean by those five seats. We all come with some baggage, right? Either emotional or actual. Our vehicle will start off by being piloted, taking four paying passengers and everything they may want to take with them. On a business journey, on a luxury journey, and uh, instead of apologizing for the baggage, we decided to just take it along. And yes, we do know how much a golf bag weighs. This is our 801. It's an aeroplane with vertical lift, vertical takeoff and landing capability. Why do we call it 801? It has eight lift fans for the takeoff and landing and hover. The zero stands for nothing, tilts. And the one is for one dedicated tail-mounted propeller dedicated to support high-speed crews. The vertical lift system is entirely integrated into the wing. There is a system of doors which open and close in order to enable air to pass through the fence effectively. You can see the vehicle is a high wing design. That's on purpose. We like people to approach the vehicle in an easy way. Essentially, walk right into the cabin below the wing, even if it's raining. So this vehicle is passenger centric. But it's not only quiet, it's also very, very fast. So after the transition, and when the doors of the vertical lift system close up, the efficiency becomes the name of the game. And this is what Pipistrel has been known for in our 30 years of dealing with aeroplane design. In fact, the transition is less than a minute. It's more powerful than a jetliner takeoff. So you are in for a sporty ride. Let me tell you a bit more about the DNA of our vehicle. We want it to be quiet, safe and fast. The integrated lift system is fully redundant. In fact, the vehicle can fly even with two fans not operating. We want our passengers to always reach their destinations no matter what. The next hot topic is the battery safety. Pipistrel has built electric aeroplanes since 12 years. We have always done our batteries in-house we have seen and experienced what battery safety means. In the 801, we are packing what we call the next level battery safety. Not all batteries are created equal. And here we intentionally create different battery sets to avoid them being affected by the same potential hidden issue. Not only that, the vehicle has four battery packs and can achieve a safe landing even with these packs malfunction. We also want our passengers to be safe. So we have built in a multi-layer safety principle from energy absorbing cabin frames to energy absorbing seats to specialized seat belts. My colleague was talking about when these aeroplanes are ready to go, when they are safe. We like to say when our friends and family would agree to fly on board. This is what we want to achieve. Going on, next generation ideas that we are building into these aeroplanes require next level tools and solutions. So we have actually established in-house tools to help us accelerate the design process of what is really difficult. Transitioning from hover into forward flight is the most difficult part when it comes to VTOL aeroplanes. You, you go from something that is essentially standing still to something that flies 200 miles per hour. 
So apart from the CFD analysis, that um, is the most usual quick way of analyzing the problematics, we're flying a fleet of scaled vehicles ranging from this small to very big in order to de-risk uh, the challenges we are facing just like everybody else with the transition. And uh, it's really exciting to be working on that. Noise. This is something that will make or break EVTOS when it comes to community acceptance. By having the vertical lift system completely integrated into the wing, we all of a sudden have the opportunity of being able to control the noise aspect much more carefully. Passively, by carefully shaping the fan blades, but also actively. Each of the eight fans operates at a different frequency. So we are able to disperse the noise spectrum and have a more pleasant acoustic footprint of the vehicle. We're not showing you the hidden sauce there in the right-hand corner, sorry. We're really exciting, excited to have these vehicles be deployed overhead cities in Europe and abroad. And uh, we are doing this thanks to some amazing partnership. You have seen the looks. We've talked about the muscles. Let's mention the brain as well. The brain comes from Honeywell. Why Honeywell? We are partnering with them in order to have the very first solution of the digital fly-by-wire system and vehicle management certifiable. Not only that, we want to have it prepared for autonomous operations. The seat where the operator will be seated when the vehicle is initially deployed is a first-class seat with the, with the windows ranging all around, so some extra revenue could be pointed into that direction. Honeywell is a leader in innovative and safe products, and together we are working on a simplified vehicle operation principle, which does not require as much pilot training as what this necessitates today. How is it done? With a modular design ranging from navigation solutions to displays, to exciting radars which detect non-cooperative traffic and allow us to land super precisely. All of this is thanks to the new fly-by-wire platform that you can also see outside right next to our scale model. As said, this is our 801. It's an aeroplane, all battery powered, that has VTOL takeoff and landing capability. Flying up to 60 nautical miles away at speeds 175 miles per hour or faster. So this will get you across Los Angeles in 20 minutes. How cool is that? We decided not to show you the actual vehicle today. You know that we never show you everything. But instead, what we'd like to show you is how the vehicle sounds like. What you will hear is a recording of a departure power profile of the vehicle recorded from about 100 feet away from the microphone. Can we please have the recording? You now know it's real, and I hope you are as excited as we are to ride it in the coming years. Thank you very much. <laughs> 